Hi, racing fans. Welcome back. In the last couple of years, Singapore horse racing is not exempt from being affected by the COVID-19 epidemic. This includes the shutdown of the racetrack and racing. The Singapore Turf Club, horse owners, trainers, track riders and all involved have been very careful and diligently followed the system. We managed to play our part, in helping to control the disease from spreading into the racing circle. We are also looking for the weekly racing to continue. Finally, the club reopened its doors to life spectators on Saturday, 30th of April 2022, after two years of racing behind closed doors, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Some horses did really well. The likes of Lim's Lightning, Lim's Koskrisko, Katak, Hong Kong Great, and King Arthur. He is among, the two horses who had scored the most winners that year. King Arthur is a five years old bay gelding from Australia trained by trainer Donna Logan at Kranji, Singapore Turf Club. King Arthur is sired by a stallion called I Am Invincible and the dam named Pantasia. So far in its career, King Arthur has won nine races. On 2nd of October 2022, King Arthur was ridden by apprentice jockey Fajli Yusuf and won its most significant race to date, the $100,000 Crown G Stakes, defeating Sky Eye. Over the course of its racing career, it has proven to be a profitable horse for the punters. If you had invested in King Arthur throughout its career, you would have received a 586% return. He is very talented and genuine race horse. A consistent performer and a professional. He raced total of 23 times in Singapore won nine times and was placed eight times let's watch seven of his winners in 2022 stand by away to the outside rocket ship bounce well with king arthur they've found the speed and uh, they haven't had to do too much work to find it as well hyde park posying up just uh, in behind the leader on the rail from romantic to its outside in between runners there was limbs knight next came Openaki. Wide was Clarton Treasure. It's about six wide and continuing to improve from Always Innocent. Next in the field there came Lim's Dreamwalker from Super Generous. They were followed by Salamence and last of all was Implement. King Arthur's been wide but uh, has been uh, tracking into this race very nicely and goes up a leader, gives a kick at the turn. Leads out by two lengths on Rocket Ship, who's trying to give chase. Hyde Park to the inside, not, not, not making any inroads at the moment. Romantic down the outside and Limbs Knight. Hi, uh, King Arthur could have given him the slip here. Romantic's the only one that's the worry. Rocket Ship, rather. It's uh, King Arthur and Rocket Ship down to the line, and King Arthur's going to run them ragged again. King Arthur, by a length and a half, beats Rocket Ship. Romantic was next. They followed in, followed in by Limbs Knight, always innocent. Salamence. Next came Lim's Dreamwalker, Hyde Park. Next came Openaki, Clarton Treasure was uh, seven wide and never made an impression from Super Generous and Implement was last. So we go for round two, stand by, we're off. And King Arthur bounced well to the inside. Sky Eye is going to beat it for pace here in the early part and uh, going to go up and contest with Fabu, who's also pressing on. Wowee, they're going like last week's pay here. They're really skipping along. Karat, the fence, is into fourth position from uh, to its outside snip and limb zoom. Red Rover can't go with them here. He's six, seven lengths to touch with Whistle Grand. It's on for young and old up in front here. And out in front, it's King Arthur, who holds the inside advantage on Sky Eye. Boots through now from Fabu. Karat still holding to the fence. He's on King Arthur's back from next in the field. Snip and Lim Zoom. The stable mates go together. Whistle Grand was next. Red Rover detached. He's the long gone here at this point. It's King Arthur, his stable mate, though, who gives a kick down past the 200 from Sky Eye, who's not etching into the margin for the time being. King Arthur, he's been a form horse of late. He's looking for a three-peat, and he gets it today. With the ace draw, he was uh, going to be very hard to beat, and he's done the job well. Wins by two and a half to Sky Eye. Second favourite runs into second from the Mar, the Mar duo who run third and fourth. Lim Zoom and Snip from Karat. Whistle Grand who ran on Fabu and Red Rover. Under driving rain we're set. Off. 
to the inside. Sacred Gift was prominent with My Man. Uh, Song Gong here is going to fight for an early position with uh, Siam Warrior. King Arthur now booting up and going through runners from Leatherhead. Hadir's uh, having to uh, be relegated back to about seventh or eighth from Palatas. Uh, they were followed next in the field by Patea. BB third to last from Vittoria Perfetta deeper out on the track and Webster he is relegated to the end. They come off the back here. First 400 in 24.39. Sacred Gift goes up to lead King Arthur, who's had to work to get his way up there. Stable mate of King Arthur in Hadia makes his way up three wide and beginning to improve from Songong Hira, who's camped in behind them. My man already under a ride. Siam Warrior, Leatherhead and BB all wide and uh, still have opportunities here as King Arthur takes over. Sacred Gift can't respond either. King Arthur from Sacred Gift. Hadir still running on now as well, picking up some ground. King Arthur's hit a flat spot as well. This could be Hadir that's going to destroy the uh, opportunity here for King Arthur. But he finds King Arthur from Hadir. Songong here are trying to run in. It's going to be a ding-dong go. That is very tough from King Arthur. Fortuna gets a Quinella as well. It is King Arthur beating Hadir. Good runs from both of them. Well done to John Galvin and connections there. Songong here, a Palatas was next from Leatherhead. They were followed there by BB, Patea, Vittoria Perfetta, Siam Warrior knocked up from Webster. Well, my man, his race was done at the 400 metre mark. And the same can be said for Sacred Gift. He capitulated with 300 to go. Flags up. Presses a button and they broke in a nice line. King Arthur beginning well from the inside. Coming out wide is Iron Champ. Uh, he's nice and keen on the bridle. Sun Ops now moves up and takes on the lead. So that'll put King Arthur in on the fence. Iron Champ out wide, Crystal Warrior. Back then to I Am Sacred getting a lovely cart midfield. Sky Eye just out a little bit wide. And he's racing uh, just ahead of Happy Moment with Ararat Lady settling towards a tail. And last of all is Webster in the Mackie Colours. First 423.90 as they start to head to the five. 550 metre mark. Sun Ops uh, is letting the tear away here. Nunez, the favourite in front. He's got a, a couple of lengths break over King Arthur, who's starting to stake a claim out wide. He's got a three kilo claim on his back. Happy Moment looks to be going up and down on the one spot. I am So too is I Am Sacred. And looking for anything out wide. Arat Lady with the blinkers first time is the widest runner and just starting to peg back a margin. He's on tired feet here, Sun Ops. King Arthur's giving chase and King Arthur overtakes Sun Ops. Running on into a Sky Eye, but King Arthur gets a coin. It's a double dare for the stable. Running on into second was Sky Eye, really catching the eye late. And the leader was left on tired legs. Uh, out wide Ararat Lady there with I Am Sacred. Back then to Iron Champ. Sun Ops was stopping quickly in the last 200. Out wide Crystal Warrior. And the last ones pulling up are Webster. And at the back of the field, Happy Moment was a bit disappointing in the end. Stand by and we're away. Fame Star caught it brilliantly to the inside. Hasn't had to do too much work to lead. King Arthur going up to his outside in second, pressing forward is Nepean to apply pressure. About two and a half lengths off in fourth from the speed was Sacred Gift working alongside Hardier. Next was Romantic from Starlight the Fence. Now Romantic's got uh, his stable mate in Song Gong here coming around him and Spirit of Big Bang's tacked onto the back. 23.93 first 400, so they have rolled along. And Fame Star is the leader by a length and a half on Nepean, who's getting a little bit keen over racing there in second. Into third on the leaders, back in third was King Arthur, who's got an inside passage now. Back up onto third position was Sa Sacred Gift from Hardia. Next in the field was Songong Hira, starting to make late impressions. Starlight needing a bit of a run as well, but a big job to do for him. Spirit of Big Bang improves through the run. Fame Star now met up on the outside by King Arthur. Here comes Sacred Gift, Hardia, but it's a sea of orange up in front. It's King Arthur. King Arthur, Hadir the only threat. Spirit of Big Bang running on late as well, but it's all King Arthur. King Arthur goes on to score in the Class 2. Beats home, Spirit of Big Bang. Hardir third from Sacred Gift. They've lined up there after that. Starlight was a little bit disappointing. He never ran on. Fame Star knocked up, passing the line there with uh, Romantic, Songong Hira, and Nepean was the last one to cross. Hold on to your hats. Flag race from the back. And we're away. Sky, I caught it well up in grade this afternoon. 
Harry Chasm allowing him to slide across. But Sailor V's found the fence and be up in position. She's jumped today, which is a positive sign. Up on the outside was Fame Star. Three wide. Hasn't got the lead at this point. Hong Kong great fourth to the outside of Sacred Gift. Next was King Arthur. He's found himself about sixth here and would be six lengths off the leader with Gold Star and Big Heart at the Stayer. First up this afternoon, he can't go with them. Sailor V, the leader for Louis Bozelon, past the 650. 24.09, so they've gone lickety split. Leads the way by two lengths here on Fame Star. Sky Eye with the leader on the leader's back in third. Now Sacred Griff's three back the fence, looking for a bit of running room, and with Hong Kong great rolling out, he gets it now. Gold Star was next from King Arthur, who's well back with a big job to do, and last of all was Big Hearted, but it's Sailor V, the mayor, hot up on the paint here, looking for her first elusive turf win. Here's King Arthur with some room to breathe, making big bounds late. Along the outside was Sacred Gift and Sky Eye, but it's King Arthur from back in the field. Big hearted late. King Arthur though. King Arthur's going to go on and score. That's a big win from the position at the corner. Wins by a length and a tail there to Big Hearted. He's put in a really nice performance there first up. Sailor V was third. They were followed by Sky Eye. Next came Hong Kong Great from Gold Star. Following them, Sacred Gift and last of was Fame Star. As the field stands well and the flag goes up, Starter releases them and away they go. Beginning really quickly with Sky Eye and he's going to go forward as the Grey Illustrious comes across now and looking to come across in the Buffalo Silks. Digging up there on the inside fence, his entertainer in the white cap and his stable mate King Arthur will settle in fourth, one off and he'll have a nice position. Grant Gunter gets back to fifth on the rail. Murahib improving out in the middle of a track as he covers a bit of ground. Back then to the back pair, we have Politis just going past by Pennywise in second last position. And at the back of the field, seeing them all is Ocean Crossing, 423.72. And there's a bit of pace in this race as these two start to break away in Sky Eye and Illustrious. Back a further four and a half lengths away to Entertainer, King Arthur to his outside. Murahib's been three wide the entire. Just behind those, we have Grand Kunter and Pennywise. He's going to need a lot of luck here, Jury. Back then to the inside, Politis and Ocean Crossing still sees them all. They turn for home and it's on the inside fence, Sky Eye. Illustrious is in for the fight. King Arthur peels across the hills of Entertainer. Out in the middle of a track is Murahib and the Grey Grand Kunta just in a bit of restricted room. But as they come into it now with 150 to go, King Arthur looking to chase Sky Eye on the inside fence. The Grand Kunta running on, but as they go to the line, on the outside, King Arthur will score. He'll beat Sky Eye by about half a length on the line and a well-timed ride for Yusuf yet again. Back then to a line of horses with Entertainer, Politis, Grand Kunta never really had a lot of crack at him turning for home. And then to his outside, Murahib, Pennywise. And the last ones pulling up were Ocean Crossing. And after injecting plenty of speed in the race, the Grey Illustrious, he'll be one of the last ones home. The field stands well and the flag goes up. Starter releases them and away they go. Beginning really quickly with Sky Eye, and he's going to go forward as the Grey Illustrious comes across now and looking to come across in the Buffalo Silks. Digging up there on the inside fence, his entertainer in the white cap, and his stable mate King Arthur will settle in fourth, one off, and he'll have a nice position. Grant Kunter gets back to fifth on the rail. Murahib improving out in the middle of a track as he covers a bit of ground. Back then to the back pair, we have Politis just going past by Pennywise in second last position. And at the back of the field, seeing them all is Ocean Crossing, 423.72. And there's a bit of pace in this race as these two start to break away in Sky Eye and Illustrious. Back a further four and a half lengths away to Entertainer, King Arthur to his outside. Murahib's been three wide the entire. Just behind those, we have Grand Kunter and Pennywise. He's going to need a lot of luck here, Jurek. Back then to the inside, Politis and Ocean Crossing still sees them all. They turn for home and it's on the inside fence, Sky Eye. Illustrious is in for the fight. King Arthur peels across the hills of Entertainer. Out in the middle of a track is Murahib and the Grey Grand Kunta just in a bit of restricted room. But as they come into it now with 150 to go, King Arthur looking to chase Sky Eye on the inside fence. The Grand Kunta running on, but as they go to the line, on the outside, King Arthur will score. He'll beat Sky Eye by about half a length on the line and a well-timed ride for Yusuf yet again. Back then to a line of horses with Entertainer, Politis, Grand Kunta never really had a lot of crack at him turning for home. And then to his outside, Murahib, Pennywise. And the last ones pulling up were Ocean Crossing. And after injecting plenty of speed in the race, the Grey Illustrious, he'll be one of the last ones home. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.